right. Um, so tell me, Miss Gibbert, tell me the name of your sim. Miss Thang. Miss Thang. All right. And uh, tell me, tell me some of her motivations and what makes her tick. Well, she's been very anxious to meet other sims. Mm-hmm. And she's been looking for just the right job and can't just accept any old job. So we've we've angered a few folks. Um, we've actually made friends mm-hmm. with a couple. And now we've got an offer for a job in politics, but she's not into that. Oh, I was going to say, with what the personality you described, that might be an ideal job for her. Well, it <laughs> could, it could, but she wants to do something like fishing. Okay. So we're looking for the water. I got you. Okay, cool. Um, and and when it when it comes to using games like this in the classroom, would would you say um, how effective would you say this is based on what you've seen so far? I think this is absolutely amazing. Our children don't want to go to football games to play in a game. Yeah, that's, I, I saw that yesterday. I had a, there was a kid in here who didn't want to leave. Right. He was, he was too enthralled with what he was doing. And, and do you think that um, using video games uh, like Sims here is a is a good um, connection to uh, both kids' real world experiences and uh, and what they're learning about literature? Absolutely. This is probably incredibly important just to be able to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Mm-hmm. That's an important skill not only in interpreting literature but in being in the world. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Thank-